Defense Secretary Delphin and Lorenzana has signed a contract agreement and notice to proceed for the Horizon 2 Air Surveillance Radar System ASRS, acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force under a negotiated government-to-government -government procurement with Japan. The project, which has an approved budget for contract of PHP 5 billion 500 million.00, was awarded to Mitsubishi Electric Corporation, Melco, with a total contract price of $103,500,000. This cooperation signifies Japan's first time to export Japanese-made defense equipment under a restructured government policy, permitting sales of defense equipment, as long as it is deemed for the promotion of international peace. This is also the first defense equipment and technology cooperation project between the two countries in realization of the agreement between the government of the Republic of the Philippines and the government of Japan concerning the transfer of defense equipment and technology signed in 2016. SRS sites will cover large areas of the Philippine Rise, southern areas of the country, and the southern portion of the West Philippine Sea. Operations from these strategically vital locations will enable the Philippine Air Force to provide optimal airspace monitoring, aircraft control, perform its air defense mission and enhance the security in areas of interest identified by the DND. Specifically, the ASRS will help to detect, identify, and correlate any threats and intrusions within the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone, PEACE, and deliver radar images to decision makers and relevant operating units. The ASRS package includes three, three fixed long-range air surveillance radars, each with building facilities and one, one mobile air surveillance radar. The T-6 Texan II becomes the new Air Force training aircraft. This includes a new type of attack aircraft of the Royal Thai Air Force. This acquisition will replace the expiring PC-9M trainer aircraft of, and will replace the L-39Z AR attack aircraft at the 411 Squadron in Chiang Mai, which will replace at least 24 aircraft per squadron, which is considered to reduce the number of aircraft per squadron. But it comes with the opportunity of the Thai industrial sector to participate in the manufacture and improvement of aircraft like this. This is the first time that Thai people can participate in this much. The T-6 Texan II defeats the KT-11B and PC-21, although it did not exceed expectations. 
but it is considered quite surprising Let's get to know the T6 Texan II a little more The T6 Texan II is the purchase of a PC-9 trainer to be developed to compete in the United States Army's Joint Initial Training Aircraft Program It was finally chosen as the standard training aircraft for all three U.S. Army pilots it first entered service about 20 years ago, it is also a standard training aircraft of the United States Air Force, Air Force of New Zealand, Morocco Air Force, Mexican Air Force and Navy, Israeli Air Force, Greece Air Force, Iraqi Air Force, Argentinian Air Force and Canadian Air Force. The Royal Thai Air Force will be the 11th national user of the T-6 Texan II with more than 850 aircraft produced. The T-6, which is the Royal Thai Air Force code, will be based on the T-6E Texan II as well as the A-6 that will be the attack aircraft, it should also be based on the AT-6B Wolverine. The Thai TH code represents a specific improvement of the Royal Thai Air Force. Because the Air Force specifies the need for the Air Force and Thai private companies to be able to improve the flight control software operation flight program of the machine, Textron Aviation, the manufacturer, agrees to all requirements. Manufacturers, Textron Aviation and Lockheed Martin, as well as CMC Electronics and Deal will collaborate with Thailand's RV Connex and Thai in final refurbishment and assembly to deliver to the Air Force. This may include the production of some parts in Thailand.